This tree, we'll have to come around to the other side to see them. Now we're looking at the bottom of column three. This is the spandrel that's attached to column three. Right there is the attachment point to column three, and the spandrel is sort of rather conformal to the flange on column three. And this is the connection point to column two. There's a cutout right here. Okay, that is, uh, let's see, so that's C2BS1, so this is a cut from the spandrel adjacent to column 2. It's also near the bottom of the tree. This is the connecting plate that attaches this to an adjacent tree. And up here, a little bit further up on column 3, zoom in on that right there. That's a cut from the uh, the middle of column three. That is C3M, so that would be the middle of column three, and that is a cut taken from the left flange. C3M FL. Today, today is today is April 18th, 2002. My name is Donald Kramer. I'm going to be doing some walkthroughs of pieces from the World Trade Center that we've cut samples for some metallurgical, some uh, microstructural and chemical analysis. Uh, this is the layout of the, uh, the um, debris that we have. And we've been gradually working our way from, from left to right. 